Well, this Bantamweight division, ubiquitously regarded as the deepest in the top 15 right now in the UFC, and this man's the number one contender. He has beaten so many talented fighters to get this title fight. Now we see what the hell he can do with it. Yeah, he's beaten them all, except the champion. Right. It's such a weird thing that you can go through so many tough guys, but ultimately the toughest one is the one you get last. So you go through this murderer's row of people to earn an opportunity, and now you get to fight the best. The champion is good, man, but this guy believes he has the skill set to take that title from him. Yeah, he's been forged by the experience. He derives so much confidence from the training room, and it all comes down to these 25 minutes or fewer for the number one bantamweight contender. You can see that there's something different about him. It's in his swagger. It's in his abilities. It's in his idea that he is just so much better than everyone else. It's easy to poke holes in that unless he keeps winning. And that's exactly what he's done. He's mastered the game. He's mastered the weight cut. He's got every skill in the book. Most believe it's going to take a Herculean effort to dethrone that champion here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Sarah And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Bantamweight champion of the world, Kid Dynamite. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee right. tonight. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you remember his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. And most of the guys, the number one contender types who have risen to a title shot, have succumbed to his power. They think they know what it feels like, and then all of a sudden they get the octagon, and they just can't take the pop. So we'll see how he handles this particular challenge here tonight. Certainly an outstanding grappler who could pose some different challenges if we hit the canvas. He told us his game plan is to avoid the mat at all costs. All right, so a nice sequence right out of the shoot by the kickboxer, continuing to attack that lead leg of the boxer, who didn't seem maybe as worried about the leg kicks midweek as he should have. Well, you, you don't worry about it until two or three land and you can barely walk. This boxer is going to have to make some adjustments so that he is not eating leg kick after leg kick as the fight goes on. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything. Uh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. We cross the midpoint in round one. Lands a beautiful leg kick. And now that jab starting to get established. Oh, back and forth we go. Nice leg kick. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. All right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. 
You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and no shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, beautiful jab there by Yudon. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Under a minute now to go. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch up. And that spinning kick out, it's home on top. Oh, clean hook there. Lands another big hook. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that physical. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They... You ready to fight? Ready. Do round it. two underway. So he blocked the strike there, counters beautifully with a jab, and at least in this matchup tonight, this Coming, it's blocked. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got to each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, you land, I land, is how we're doing here. Yadong's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he... those punches. All right, so the upper leg kicks have been a big storyline in this fight, and you got to think at some point he's going to switch stances or make an adjustment, or he's going to lose this fight. He's got to do something, because right now what he's doing has not worked. It's very clear that they did not expect this as part of his opponent's game plan, and he's been a step behind the entire time. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse. Oh! That is it! Wow! Wow! No judges needed this time around! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. 
because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. Uh -huh.